What's going on YouTube? It's me Andrew here. I'm going to do my full review on the all-new HP TouchSmart 11-E015DX. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, I'm going to break down the product features and specs right here. This is a 2013 HP Pavilion TouchSmart 11.6 inch touchscreen laptop featuring 4 gigabytes of memory, 500 gigabyte hard drive, and featuring an AMD A6 processor running at 1 gigahertz an AMD Radeon HD 8210 graphics card, built-in HP True Vision high definition webcam, an SD card reader, two USB 3.0 ports, featuring 802.11b GNN wireless connectivity, an 11.6 inch LED backlit high definition 10 point touchscreen display with a resolution of 1366 by 768, running Microsoft Windows 8 64 bit operating system, also keep in mind there is no DVD or CD drive. This laptop comes weighing in at 3.1 pounds and measures just 0.9 inches thin. HP is aiming this laptop as someone that wants the ultimate in portability as well as decent processing speed and featuring a full touchscreen for $379.99. In this first section I'd like to go over the design and layout of this laptop. Let's take a look at the right side of the laptop. Here goes the back side. And here's the left side. And back to the front. And this is the bottom. Alright, let's take a look at the layout of the computer on the left side. Let me focus my camera. Alright, starting from the left, we got the Kensington security slot, the VGA port, exhaust port for the fans, USB 2.0 port, SD card reader. Let's go to the right side of the laptop. Here you got your AC charging port, Ethernet adapter, HDMI output, two USB 3.0 ports, and a 3.5 millimeter headset port. Very nice design. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside and see how it looks. There we go. Keyboard's kind of small, however, it's still comfortable after getting adjusted to it after a couple of days. This laptop features a very nice midnight black design. Alright, let me give you a 360 degree view of the laptop. Here goes the left side. Let's go to the back. This laptop is pretty well built considering its price range. Here goes a couple of photos I took of the laptop. Here goes the exterior. Here's the left side of the laptop. It was 11.6 inch touchscreen display. Keyboard was small, however, after typing on it for a couple of days, it actually felt pretty comfortable. Only issue I had was with the small trackpad. For example, to swipe from the bottom to the top, I had to swipe two times instead of one time. However, that can be resolved with increasing the speed on the trackpad. I just wished HP made the trackpad slightly bigger. That would have been more comfortable. All right, for this section, let's take a look at the boot up speed for this laptop. Let's go ahead and hit the start button right here. There we go. Systems booting. It's logging in now. Our hourglass still spinning. Still spinning. And we're done. So boot up speed looking about 32 seconds, which is pretty adequate. All right, this section I'm looking at display quality and the viewing angles. All right, brightness is set all the way 100%. Let's take a look at the left side of the rotation. Pretty decent viewing angle. Let's take a look at the right side. Not bad. All right, let's take a look at the viewing angles on the front of the laptop when I rotate the monitor down. There we go. That's 100%. Oops. Oops. 
pretty decent viewing angle. To get the best picture quality possible, I recommend going into AMD Vision Engine Control Center and adjusting your settings. You can get there by right clicking the mouse button and going into AMD Vision Center. The same also applies for sound quality. To get the best possible sound, go to DTS Sound. To get there, go to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, and look for the DTS tab. This section I'd like to talk about the processor and battery performance. This laptop features a quad-core AMD A6 1450 processor running at 1 GHz with a turbo boost of up to 1.4 GHz. Here's a screenshot of the performance of the A6 1450 processor. For the processor, you get the sub-score of 4.8, for the memory, 5.4, for the graphics, 4.0, gaming graphics, 5.8, and primary hard disk at 5.9. For basic computing programs like word processor, internet browsing, streaming video, and listening to music, this computer ran pretty smooth with occasional lag here and there. However, when running intense programs like Photoshop or any other intense programs, this computer started to come to a crawl with very noticeable lag. However, battery performance was excellent. I was able to squeeze roughly 4.5 to 5.5 hours on average at 80% brightness on a full charge. Overall, HP has done a good job with this laptop by including an adequate A6 processor, which runs very cool and is very power efficient, and the 11.6 inch touchscreen display, which is smooth and responsive and offers a good resolution for an 11 inch laptop. Only issue I had was in running intense programs like Photoshop, which started to bring the A6 processor to a crawl, and the small touchpad, which HP could have made a little bit bigger. Other than those two cons, this is an excellent computer. For $379.99, you get a lot of bang for your buck. I highly recommend this computer for anyone looking for the ultimate in portability, spectacular battery life, good performance for light duty applications, and best of all, under $400. Bucks. Alright, this concludes my review for the HP TouchSmart 11 laptop. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Alright, thanks guys. Peace.